Rick was born March 18, 1956, Quebec City, Canada. His wrestling debut was June 7th, 1973. Rick Martel, man, I, I gotta tell you something. I had some really, really favorites of mine when I was a kid. There was The Sheik, there was Chris Carter, and there was Rick Martel. Are you talking about the model? <laughs> well, he wasn't the model then. He was the AWA World's oh, Champion. Yes. He is the AWA World Heavyweight Champion, Rick Martel. Man, I'm telling you what, uh, Rick Martel had a, a great career. Uh, Vern Gagne, I think, was involved in his training. Yeah. And um, I, Vern had a great knack for talent. And he knew immediately that this kid had it. And AWA, by the way, was no slouch, man. They were on ESPN television. They were on, they were traveling all over the world. They were really giving the WWF a run for their money at one point. Was a was a was a brand. Rick was a talent. Uh, Rick was a guy that would help us in Canada. We would get all excited on a Saturday night seeing Montreal wrestling because they had guys like Abdullah the Butcher, the Road Warriors, oh, dog, yeah. uh, uh, <clears throat> Rougeau brothers. I mean, you name so it. So many great wrestlers came out of Canada. Rick Martel is seen at many of these conventions. Unfortunately, the ones that we've been to, we haven't seen them. However, a lot of those legends had quite a few words to say about the great Rick Martel to you, Mr. Chris Carter. They sure did. Check this out, guys. I didn't really like the model thing and the squirtings thing because I thought that belittled his wrestling capabilities and abilities, you know? Uh, Rick Martel was a very talented, or is a very talented man. And, uh, and and he should get accolades for who he is and, and who he was, not a character he portrayed. We stole the show. This is all I have to remember. Martel was a working fool. Oh, Rick Martel. <laughs> Rick was a lot of fun to be around. Uh, <laughs> really enjoyed looking good. <laughs> and uh, Rick Martel came up in the school holidays and and he started watching and, and his brother had been teaching him and he started working in his school holidays there. Oh, so I my. met him, I met him, you know, we wrestling, so we crossed paths all the time and I met him when he was young there. Wow. So he went back home to, you know, to start school and he told mum, hey, I'm, I'm going to go to be a wrestler. Wow, holy crap, man. Bushwhacker Lucas, man, he knew so that much. That was so funny. <laughs> he said, he said, I better hurry up here because Chris is getting upset with how much time I'm taking. <laughs> One of the greats of all time, Rick Martel. Absolutely. Any word, final words about Rick Martel? Uh, like I said, he, he was a first and foremost a family. And he was a good man, an honest man, and a tremendous professional performer in the wrestling ring. And he had the greatest look at that time of it. I don't care how hard you hit me. I don't care how often you hit me. I'm going to keep on coming back. Because I may not have 20 inch arms, but I got a lot of heart. And I got a lot of heart, and I'm going to show it to you. Fans, if there's a professional wrestler that you'd like to hear about from these two brainiacs of wrestling, <laughs> please feel free to use this right here. Use this address. Hit us up. Do it Tell now. Us. <laughs> this has been Chris Carter. I'm Rudy Hill, also known as Rude Boy. This has been Wrestling Real Talk. We'll see you next time. It's real.
forget to like and subscribe to the greatest wrestling show of all time, Wrestling Real Talk. Once again, if you'd like for us to talk about one of your favorite stars, it's real simple. Use this address right here at the bottom of your screen. Do it now. Send in those requests. And it's Wrestling Real Talk. So smash the like and whatever you do and then push the thing and subscribe and don't kayfabe it and get two uh, accounts because they'll get you in the end.